today I'm going to be interviewing a very special guest. His name is Pete Cowley. He's an expert at tax auctions. Pete, tell us about how you got involved in tax auctions. I learned from a long time ago from uh, Donald Trump's Donald organization, Trump. organization to tax foreclosures are very, very you know, lucrative for the simple fact that you're buying properties for literally the cost of those taxes or less, so in some cases, most of the time the bidding will start at you know, the level of the taxes. When you have tax foreclosure on a property, if there is a regular mortgage company that's also in foreclosure, they will pay the taxes before it goes to tax foreclosure, otherwise they don't get their money. So you're saying you can buy properties at a tax foreclosure at a discount, more discounted than at a regular foreclosure sale. Yes. This is way below market value. This is way below market value. It's low, I've seen it as low as 5% of its value. 5% of its value. Wow. And how long have you been doing this? Since 1984. Since 1984. Now, Pete, you, you offer to um, educate people about tax options. Can the audience then contact me and then I can get them in contact with yes. your links and, and where your books are located? Yes. Fantastic. Um, if somebody wanted to get involved in tax auctions, what would be like the first thing you would recommend that they do? What would be the first thing? Put some money aside? What would, what would be the first thing you recommend? It depends upon which way they want to go. Like I said, there are the techniques for no money down. No money down means none of your technically own money, and there are uh, many methods to go about that. And uh, you know, we can discuss that once you know they decide to you know sit down and talk with me directly. Now, how are tax auctions different from tax liens? Tax liens are basically in states that only allow liens against the property, and they will sell the lien to the public and you're paying the lien off for them, but you're making an interest from the government that's so guaranteed. Is that a little more safe? Is that a little safer than tax auctions to get I started? Say, I, would, I wouldn't say safe, but more reasonable price. More reasonable price. Again, depending upon the county mm -hmm. in the United States that you're buying the property in. For example, some tax liens, or corporate liens, they could be as much as tens of thousands of dollars for mm -hmm. a tax lien, mm -hmm. where you're here where we are right now, you can pick up properties for as little as, you know, like I said, $28. And $28. So, I mean, it depends upon, you know, what you're looking for so then and where you're looking. To do this really successfully, then, you kind of need a mentor. Yes. Would you recommend that people don't just launch out on their own because each county is different? They really need each to... Each county is different. Now, if they were going to even try to launch out on their own, they... I would highly recommend you learn the laws of the county mm -hmm. and the laws of the state because they all vary. Mm -hmm. And just alone in this county where we're at, it's a hundred pages of law. Wow. So. so if this is so lucrative and anybody can do it, why don't more people know about this, Pete? What's, what, in your opinion, why do you think people don't know about getting into tax leads? And tax because leads? they'll read about it. There's audio books on it but they won't take the step. Why don't more people get involved in tax auctions? Because, well, number one, not everybody can travel to where the best auctions are. That's right. Okay. okay, number two, a lot of people are afraid of the investment because they have in their mind the mortgage thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that there is no mortgage. So when you purchase the property, you own it outright. You own it outright. Fabulous. So you so when you know when you buy a property, it's for the most part free and clear, so that you know that that property is yours. There is no mortgage no you can do. No IRS liens. Well, you again. That's that. That's part of you know what the training is. Mm -hmm. That's why I recommend training because you want to make sure that you have the techniques to know how to find if there are any IRS liens or mechanics liens on a property you're bidding on. If you don't know what you're bidding on, don't bid. So there are some risks to bidding without knowing what you're doing. A lot of risks if you don't know what you're doing. And I, that's why I highly recommend training. 
because you know unless unless you you could buy a property for fifty dollars but and it's say, say it's a commercial property but there was an IRS lien of sixty thousand mm. dollars then you're stuck with that bill <laughs> I see so Pete do you offer this kind of training yes. on, that, on that note we're going to end and yes. our viewers if you're interested in the kind of training on tax auctions that Pete and I were talking about please give us a call at our 1-800 number that's 877-204-9242 and we'll get you connected with our good friend